stands for Joint Astrophysics Nascent Universe Satellite. Janus is a mission that's constructing a satellite that will be sent into orbit. It will be looking at the origins of the universe by looking back into time at a period after the Big Bang when the first stars were beginning to form. By being able to detect gamma ray bursts, Janus will be able to recognize the first stars and galaxies. Janus is the Roman god of new beginnings. He represents the opening to new opportunities. His two faces represent the past and the future. It's important not to forget to keep the community and kids involved in space exploration. Getting kids excited about space in any way will ensure future generations becoming much more knowledgeable about the universe that we live in. Teachers play a major role in the education of today's students and tomorrow's leaders. Learning new material about science will allow students to become open to new ideas and lead them to pursue their curiosities. So when that rocket goes into space, they carry their own, basically their own oxygen. And that oxygen is mixed with the fuel so that it will continue to burn so it travels into space. We have our alpha, our beta, and our gamma. Okay? Three main types of radiation. State. You've heard of Penn State? Yeah. 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 They're doing this great big project where they're going to send a satellite up into space and they're going to look at stars. It, once something is set in motion, inertia, okay, it will continue on that path until acted upon by another force. And since there are no forces out there, it will continue on that path. That's the kind of neat thing about space exploration. What we have learned is, is that students like space. And when they learn about space, they become more interested in applying themselves to mathematics and science. We've involved these kids of the community by asking them questions about their understanding of space. Can you tell me what a star is? It's something that's in the sky. Something that shines. It's something shining. It's something in space that it, it really lights, it lights up. What do you think the universe is? Um, 400 trillion years old. A lot older than everybody else probably thinks it is. Hmm. I don't know. Penn State is going to need many interested students to work on projects such as Janus in the future. Where do you want to go to college? Penn State. Penn State. Probably Penn State. Penn State. Penn State. Well, NASA uses all types of jobs, uh, whether it be a graphics designer uh, for the posters you see, video uh, production for uh, movies that are produced, uh, secretaries, administrative support, finance, uh, technicians, engineers, uh, mathematicians. Uh, you know, it, it crosses all bounds. What do you want to be when you grow up? What do you... Um, a teacher. Yeah, I want to be an archaeologist or I want to work at NASA. A cowgirl. I want to be a chemist. A football player. I've always known that I want to work in an office. Um, a princess. Yes, I want to be a teacher. Mm, that's, that's the most exciting thing to me is to get the next generation really looking forward to being a part of NASA and, and finding answers such as Janus proposing. What do you think of the Janus project? I think it's a really interesting project and um, I hope that Penn State gets it so they can learn more about like the Earth and I think it's really cool because I've never really heard of any other project where they're exploring something like that. It's obvious that Project Janus will be opening doors to new knowledge and new opportunities. 